When you look at a beautiful painting like this, you could admire the artistry in it, but it's not very often that you get a chance to actually ask the artist about the inspiration for it and the creative process behind it. But we do have that opportunity today because we are inside the studio of world-renowned artist Paul Harmon. This is a great opportunity for us. Paul, thanks so much for inviting us to come today. Welcome to the studio, we Meryl. We do appreciate it. All right, so for you, uh, we're surrounded by all of these beautiful paintings, and it seems to me that art must have been something that just comes from your soul from the very beginning. Have you always wanted to be an artist? I think it has been locked in my DNA. My grandmother was a painter. Uh, she lived in Nashville. She started the Nashville Artist Guild here. She was its first president. Wow. And so I started in her studio. Uh, she was sort of the uh, neighborhood babysitter. And so I spent a lot of time in her studio. And uh, I think I started there with crayons and newsprint on her floor. And probably, there's probably truth in the, in the idea that over the years I've just gotten better materials. <laughs> but, but in a way, I have always been an artist. There was never that time after school where, what will I be? So you do your paintings uh, in this incredible historic smokehouse. Well, the smokehouse is my office, and then I have a shed that has been built around the, the, uh, the smokehouse, and that's where I actually do the painting. The uh, smokehouse was built in 1793. It was the scene of the last serious Indian attack in this area. They killed everybody in a neighbor's house, which is uh, uh, about six miles down the road. Uh, and uh, it's not lost on me that uh, I'm doing research on a Mac computer in the Vatican Library Museum at the same place where the Indian attack uh, occurred. That's really not that long ago. No, it isn't. Let's talk about your painting style. I, I love this painting, uh, Crossing Borders. Talk about what that means in terms of your art. Well, the painting is called uh, Muhlenberg County Waltz. Mm -hmm. And uh, the painting is of my wife, and it was painted the year that we married. Um, but it does exemplify something I've been working on for a number of years, as you brought up, uh, crossing borders. Uh, as human beings, we cross lots of borders, birthdays, bar mitzvahs, uh, flying to, to uh, France. Uh, in the painting, I've incorporated that same sort of idea of crossing borders in that uh, vertically or horizontally, there are lines in the paintings, and as you cross the line, the uh, painting changes often from positive to negative, from monochromatic to color, from uh, palette knife to modeled uh, brushwork. Another example of the crossing borders uh, storyline that runs through so many of Paul Harmon's paintings is this beautiful piece. And this one is the centerpiece of an exhibit that's going to be hanging soon in Springfield, Tennessee. Now tell me why Springfield? Well, a good friend of mine, uh, Jay Swafford, who I think you know well. I do. He works at News Channel 5. That's right. Uh, he'd been talking with me for a number of years about his efforts to bring the arts to Springfield, moving heaven and earth. And... Um, I guess I'd been listening to, to uh, his telling me about Springfield for about three years, and then he up and asked me if I'd have a show there. So uh, I was happy to participate. That's wonderful. And this and 17 other beautiful Paul Harmon paintings are going to be hanging at the Springfield Inn Gallery. Uh, the opening reception is going to be on March 15th. You'll be there, so yes. you can talk to folks about the inspiration behind these paintings. Yes. That'll be wonderful. And then the uh, uh, exhibit is going to be hanging until the end of May. It's a great opportunity for you to see some world-renowned paintings and meet an incredibly nice guy and a wonderful artist, too. You'll find all the information on our Talk of the Town hotline so that you can attend and see these great works in person. Paul, thanks so much for inviting Thank us you, to the Meryl. studio. What a treat to get to see this in person. It's my treat. Thank you.